following questions, concerns, and criticism, today the Roanoke Gun Violence Prevention Commission came together with city leaders to share their progress and mission. 10 News reporter Sydney Jacksheimer attended that meeting today. She joins us live from our newsroom tonight to tell us more about the efforts that leaders say are working and others that they want to see more of. Sydney? Well, the Gun Violence Prevention Commission showcased their programs that focus on intervention and prevention to curb gun violence. But some city leaders like Mayor Sherman Lee say these programs are focusing on the long term and he wants a more immediate response. The framework for Roanoke's Gun Violence Prevention Commission focuses on three areas, prevention, intervention, and enforcement. The commission reviewed their efforts in these three areas during a gun violence prevention framework workshop with city council. To get a comprehensive overview of all of the efforts that are currently mm -hmm. taking place in the city regarding addressing and reducing gun violence. This meeting is in response to city council members calling for more oversight of the commission. Some council members, including Mayor Sherman Lee, have criticized the commission's work. I am just frustrated with the fact that we look good and sound good on paper, but the outcomes aren't happening. From the year 2020 to 2022, the number of shootings have increased in the Star City. I'm looking for things that can happen today to resolve this. We've been talking about that. That's why we have uh, this process under review by our audit committee. An audit of the commission was announced back in February. Chair of the commission and Vice Mayor Joe Cobb says critiques like these can be expected when trying new approaches. But if we don't try things, if we're not agile as a community and adaptable to try things to address this very serious issue, then we'll never get anywhere. Tonight on 10 News at 11, hear how law enforcement fits into the commission's framework. Live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Sydney Jacks, Timer 10 News, working for you.